Welcome back to Central Valley Business. I am your host, Mike Briggs, today, and we meet here every day at this time, seven days a week. Tune in at noon right here on centervalleytalk.com, and we have guests where we celebrate what is good about Fresno. By the way, uh, check out our YouTube site. Select interviews end up on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and type Central Valley Talk, no spaces, Central Valley Talk. Uh, some interviews last forever on YouTube, whereas these live ones are done when they're done. So what is good about Fresno? Well, today we have Dr. Chowdhury, close, I even call it Chowdhury, yes. from Valley uh, Cardiac Surgery. Right. And that's right here in Fresno. Yes, sir. Is it downtown? Yeah, we operate out of all three hospitals, downtown St. Agnes and Heart Hospital. Oh, so you don't go to the cardiac, uh, there's not a cardiac center. Uh, there are three hospitals that do you guys open practice, heart surgery. We practice out of all three. All three of those. Yes. Sir. Now, uh, it's, uh, I was kind of kidding a little bit before we started the interview, but I said, it's not a bad time to get sick because there's a lot of new innovations. Oh, it's always a bad time to get sick. <laughs> but we all hope that we don't get sick, but the technology has gone to the point that a lot of things we are doing in a newer and new innovation, mm -hmm. just like you were talking about the knee surgeries and hip surgeries, they are doing minimally invasive. And now what we have done in the Valley Cardiac Surgery, what we do is we do almost all uh, the surgeries we can do minimally invasive. Minimally invasive, yeah. Yes. We don't open the chest mm -hmm. and uh, just do them through the ribs. Okay. Almost all the valves are done that way. Most of the cabbages bypass surgery, we mm -hmm. can do it. We also put mechanical heart. So Valley Cardiac Surgery has brought here a lot of newer technology uh, innovation. Right. Yeah, and the non-invasive, -ev non-invasive, minimally, minimally, minimally invasive. invasive. It's kind of a newer technology or just newer to Fresno? It is uh, newer to the point that uh, I think that Valley Cardiac Surgery does more than anybody in the Western region. And now, so, I, I would think opening the chest creates uh, additional possible problems. Significant problems because if your risk is say two percent, uh, anything bad happening with the surgery, such as dying because it's open heart surgery, if you get sternal wound infection, that goes up to ten, twenty percent. Ten or twenty, yeah. So plus the about fifty to sixty percent people after you open the chest, they go into depression, some kind of depression, either light or major depression even. But with the minimally invasive, most of the people don't even feel it. Don't experience that. Yeah. Also, I would imagine the recovery and the pain uh, that you avoid by not opening the chest will be tremendous. That is, I think, that, and that's where actually I started this, and uh, that's where we started, because in Valley Cardi, in uh, Fresno, in our valley, if you look at it, unemployment rate is so high. And uh, if you open somebody's chest and split the bone, mm -hmm. for three months, they are out of commission. They can't go to work. Right. Back to, and uh, with the minimally invasive, Within two weeks, we send them back to work. Two weeks. Within two weeks, they even a heart valve. Uh, if I did surgery on you, in two weeks you'd be sitting here interviewing somebody interviewing instead of people being. again. That was awesome. And even That's if it's a machine job or anything, people are driving in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can do anything. And you could do a heart valve repair. Uh, I did that this morning. And the person could two to three get back to work in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, they're yeah. back to work. All the valves, almost all the valves, I do. Uh, minimally invasive, mm -hmm. just going through the, in between the ribs. And uh, most of the bypass surgeries we can do if it's selective. In emergency or salvage situations, uh, at that time you don't want to be doing minimally invasive. But uh, we do mechanical hearts, we support, we do advanced heart failure surgery. Mm -hmm. So all these surgeries we do minimally invasive and what we have, newer thing we have started. Because a lot of time the pub public is not aware of it. And the, it depends on physicians who you are regularly sending the patients. So we have even started at Valley Cardiac Surgery that we give uh, free second opinion. And okay. I think that. Yeah. I was going to ask you that because you go to the doctor and you hate to tell a doctor, I don't trust you. You know, I saw a show on Central Valley Talk where they're doing minimally invasive surgeries. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? And the doctor sometimes says, no, I know what's best for you. But I would think people should always go ask. For a exactly. Opinion. You should ask for a second opinion because a lot of people are not mm, technically trained for that. Mm -hmm. It's a heart surgery by itself is is tremendously technical procedure, mm -hmm. and on top of that, when you're doing through the minimally invasive, unless you are trained and you practice it, as right. they're doing. So I have done hundreds of these. Yeah, I was going to say you haven't just done one or two, but you've done hundreds. Hundreds of, of them. Yeah, and that's a, that's a doctor I want. Now you sent some uh, pictures over. Can we look at these and talk about? Uh, 
This is the aortic valve surgery. So that is about three inch incision, two and a half, three inch incision. So he doesn't have any other incision. And is that you go through the, between the ribs? Between the ribs. Okay. And does that cause later pain or aching? No, what we do is, uh, the newer thing also we do is, we block the nerve. Mm -hmm. So that nerve is blocked for almost three months. So a lot of these people don't even need pain pills after. And excuse my ignorance, but it unblocks itself, the nerve? You yeah, with it? the time and it's, and time it just because comes. it's frozen. Okay. And it, as with the time goes, most of these people come back and they get all the feelings. Okay. And the picture on the right? That is uh, cabbage. That's a bypass surgery. Okay. Going under the left breast. And so we won't even see a... No. Nope. Really, we don't Especially even see in a woman, you don't see any scars. Okay. Unless it's aortic valve, which is a higher scar. But if it's a mitral valve in a woman, that's under the right breast. Okay. If there's a bypass surgery, it's under the left breast. And you cannot even tell that they had okay. a surgery. Okay. And this uh, person on the right screen? Again, that's aortic valve. This is a mitral valve. So Good. they got mitral valve and tricuspid valve, two valves through this. Okay. And is that the left one you I'm, said is? Yeah. I'm go, go ahead to the next one there. The guy, next one. Yeah. That gentleman with the shirt. So that is the incision, two to three inch incision. And uh, tricuspid valve and mitral valve. We do repairs and replacements. So do they end up with a little scar or no scar? No, that scar, obviously, when you cut the skin, yeah. it never goes away. Okay. We have not developed that technology okay. yet. But it's a small uh, scar. I wouldn't care about a scar or not. If I'm, my valve is repaired, I'd be very happy. Well, with a lot of women, uh, you and I are not probably blessed with that much hair on us. But uh, a lot of men have hair. Mm -hmm. So once the hair grows, you don't see it. You don't see it at all. A woman, it's under the breast, and they yeah. don't see it. Okay, and this one on the right now is the... Uh, That's a cabbage. Coronary artery bypass surgery. You call it cabbage? Cabbage. Okay. Coronary artery. artery. Oh, bypass. bypass. It's a bypass. Right. We call it bypass as lay right. people. And we do, the good thing is, a lot of people start to do it and everything, and they may do one vessel. Mm -hmm. And the main point here is that we do complete revascularization. You need three grafts, four grafts, five grafts. We do all of them. Now, the bypass, yeah. is that for the reason that the valve becomes constricted or Not the valve, a little? The I mean, the arteries become right. a little constricted? Right. They can develop plaque and everything. Yeah. And uh, then we manage it three ways. Medically, you can manage it. Uh, then the stents, well, whenever there's three vessel disease, multi vessel disease, mm -hmm. or depending on where the disease is, a lot of these people end up requiring bypass surgery. Okay. Now, the, uh, uh, does everybody get clogged arteries, or are some people so healthy they just don't develop that? No, it's more common cause is genetics. If it genetics. is in your genetics, it's going to happen. Okay. Second is aging. Mm -hmm. So, those two things we cannot affect it. Right with genetics, it's going to come in your genes, and uh, with the age, people get that some blockage. Mm -hmm. But the four things we as a physician manipulate is the high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. and smoking. Ah. So those four things we can, but if it is in your genetics. And some people, they never smoke or anything, but they, it's in their genetics, so they're going to get it sooner or later. Most common cause is genetics. Yeah. And, and I think what we come away with today is that, first of all, there is this minimally invasive surgery right. in Fresno. In Fresno. In Fresno. You don't have to go to San Francisco anymore right. or a big uh, center. By the way, how many people are in your group? Uh, we are two people. We are in the process of hiring a third gentleman. He just left for Chicago. Okay. Yeah, his family is there, so okay. we moved there. And then uh, the second uh, thing we come up away with today is ask for the second opinion. Right. And it's a free. We don't it's charge a free second opinion. Yeah. They don't need any even referral. Right. Just come and talk to us. Okay, so if you're a candidate, we'll tell you. If you're not, we won't. Yeah. But so almost all the valves, I said that, almost all the valves, they're candidate for minimally invasive. Now, most yeah. people, it's their regular doctor, maybe who's referring them to a cardiologist. Right. And so um, sometimes people just take who they're referred to. But right. maybe you could ask your doctor if yes. uh, you could be referred to a valley uh, cardiac surgery. Valley cardiac, cardiac surgery. surgery. The most advanced, it sounds like the most advanced technology. We are at the cutting edge. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure others will catch up in a few we years, but <laughs> a lot of people can't afford to wait a couple of years. The yeah. only thing we don't do uh, in the valley, and especially valley cardiac surgery, we don't do heart transplants, so okay. although I'm trained with that. Mm -hmm. Dr. Stewart is trained, my partners, uh, but we don't do it because no center is doing it. The okay. hospital has to do it. Anything other than that, that's happening in the world, we do it. Okay, and you're ready for it. Anything else uh, you want to add about uh, 
what's going on in Fresno or the technology. And I think we got a pretty good story going yep. today. I think that, as, as you said, that it's not a bad time to be sick. It's always a bad time to be yeah. sick. But if you do get a sick, and uh, you should look for it. There are a lot of options. Yeah. And um, we in the Valley, mm -hmm. uh, we have it. And uh, within two to three weeks, you are done. And heart surgery has become almost like you have a flat tire. Yeah. Once it's fixed, you don't need to worry about it. That's right. And I'm just waiting for my turn. I know that I'll probably have to have a bypass someday. And I try to stay healthy and eat right, and I don't smoke. But uh, you know, but because you interviewed me, I'll give you for free. <laughs> free. There you go. Free bypass. Like maybe after lunch, we could go in and do something real quick. <laughs> by the way, can you take payment uh, patients direct, or do they have to be referred by somebody? No, a lot of time it has to be referred or anything, but the patient can also choose it, and then we take all insurances okay. so we can get approval. What about the patient doesn't have to go anything. What about the Medi-Cal? I have never, ever in my entire career looked at the patient's insurance. Even if they are living you under the bridge, the, they have no insurance. The job. We take it. Yeah, good for we you. We take Ryan. anybody. I have a lot of respect for that. That is just a giant thing in my right. book. Anyway, I'm going to ask you to say your name for me one more time. It's Pervez, like pervasive, Chaudhry. Chaudhry. Yeah. And Valley, Valley cardiac, cardiac Surgery. Very good. We're going to be back with more good things about Fresno right after these messages.